Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Now before we dive in, there are a couple little updates. First of all, I have a ZBrush character sculpting challenge going on and there's a huge prize you can win there, so I'll put a link in below in the description, don't miss that. Second is I have a little video challenge going on. If you send in a personal uh, video message, about 8 seconds or so, uh, you've got a chance of winning an Amazon gift card, right? Okay, that said, let's dive into today's video. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make uh, something what you could call a blanket roll or let's say a roll of paper, right? How do you do that in Maya? We're gonna be working in Maya 2020 and that said, here we go. This video has been made possible by renderhub.com the premier site for selling and buying your 3D related content, such as 3D models, HDRI files, sound effects, textures, print ready models, and much, much more. Hey guys, and welcome. So we're in my 2020, uh, in front of us is a reference image of a backpack with a rolled up blanket, and uh, that's what we're gonna go for, the rolled up blanket. Now you can use this technique to create blankets, rolled up pieces of paper, and basically anything that is rolled up in that fashion. I'm going to show you two different techniques to do this. The first one will be a little bit cumbersome. The second process will be a bit easier. But just so you know, you have a number of ways to approach this, right? Okay, so let's get rid of our reference image. We don't need that. What's going on down there? Yeah, just delete that and delete that. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with our top view. Okay. Let's uh, leave the outliner open for now, and I'll close this because the outliner is kind of important right here. So we're going to go to Create, we're going to go to Curve Tool and CV Curve Tool, and we're going to start to create kind of a swirl. And just curious, if I say swirl, swirl, leave in the comments where that's from. Okay. All right, let's go around. And as you do so, you want to keep enough space to open, right? Especially in that middle section there. Don't pinch that together too much because you're going to need that space later on, right? Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. So we get this guy right here. I think you'd even use this to make a Twinkie or something. All right, so then we're going to hit E to rotate this guy. We're going to hold down J and we're going to flip it upward like that. All right, we have that. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We'll hit W to move it over like this and then we'll shift select both move it over here and move it in a little bit okay so now that we have two of these uh, go to the middle yep now that we have two of these and we have them both selected what we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, surfaces we're going to go to loft option box and let's go up to edit and reset settings so we're all on the same page here uh, let's see i want this set to uniform Auto reverse, we're going to leave that on there and I'll explain in a minute why. Uh, let's see, um, the surface degree will do linear. Here is the number of sections you want across. So let's do, I don't know, uh, 10 or so. That would be good. Uh, let's see, and what you can do here is you can have an output in polygons. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm going to leave it in NURBS because I want to show you a technique. If you do it in NURBS, how you can then later on convert it to polygons. Right? You can do it here, but you can do it later. So we're going to hit loft, which will give us this, right? Now, it doesn't look like a blanket just yet, but we'll get there. What we're going to do next is we're going to go in and make sure we can get rid of these curves right there, right? So with the object selected, we're going to go to edit, delete by type, and history. Let's go to modify and freeze transformations while we're at it. There you go. And then what we can do is we're going to go in and delete that curve and delete that curve and our object is still intact. Now, this is way too straight. We want to kind of pinch that in the middle a little bit. So I'm gonna right click and go to Control Vertex. We're gonna grab a selection right here and we're gonna hit B on our keyboard, B for Bernard, right? Hold down B, left click and drag to increase or decrease the impacted area like this, right? Okay, we'll do something like this, and then yellow is very much impacted, light orange, and as we go to red, the impact is less. Okay, now with that selected, we're gonna hit R, the scale, and we're gonna take the yellow cube in the middle, and we're gonna kind of push it in like that. Don't go nuts, don't do this. Let's say something like that, all right. Okay, so now that we have this, um, let's see, is this a polygon object yet? I'll show you that it's not, 
we're going to right click. There's no way to select face or anything. So we need to fix that, right? You can see it here as well in our outliner because it says loft surface, right? That's a NURB surface. So we need to convert that. So we have it selected. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to modify. We're going to go to uh, convert NURBs to polygons. That's what we want. We're going to click on the option box there. We're going to go to edit and reset settings. So we're all on the same page. And then let's see what we need to do here. Well, first of all, I want my output to be quads. So let's select that, right? Now, let's see, we're going to leave that alone. Standard fit, we can leave that alone. Let's see, that all looks okay. So we're just going to go in here and we're going to hit apply. And as we do that, we now see that we have an object inside an object. So let's look at our outliner. We have a NURBS to poly object and we have a loft surface object. Now, we already knew that the loft surface object was our NURBS object. So we're just going to delete that. And what we have left is our polygonal object. Now, the thing with this is, as you can see, the polygonal object isn't clean. It has end gons and so forth. A couple of things you can do here. You can go to the old fashioned method and go to mesh and clean up. But in my 2020, we have a new feature called Retopo, right? So let's do that. So we're going to close this. We're going to go up here. We're going to go to mesh, retopologize, option box. And let's see, keep original, don't need to do that. Preserve hard to edges, not worried about that. The face count, let's go with 500, that'd be fine. And let's see, topology, uh, that's all good, that's all good, that's all good. Let's click on Retopo. And there you go. Pretty neat, right? Okay, so now that we're happy with that, we're going to go up to Edit and Delete by Type and History once again. And it, now it's time to give it some thickness. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control e to extrude. And I'll hit B to turn off that soft select, right? And then we're going to see how thick we can make this. So let's give a try and do one. Not too bad. Let's do three. That's a bit too much. 2.5. 2.5 seems fine, right? Okay, now that we have 2.5, we're going to go in here, object mode, and hit three to preview smooth. And you'll get something like this, right? You got a little issue there. And let's see if we can hit one to go back. We have a little extrude issue there due to the mesh. Let's give me a sec and I'll go in and fix that and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I cleaned that up manually. Um, I think maybe the new retopo function in Maya isn't all that just yet um, because I don't see any issues with the original that we started with, but it's a pretty easy fix. I just went in and took these edges right here. Uh, so these, right? And I just deleted them and I added new ones. So that was like a 20 second fix. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So now if you go in and we hit three to preview smooth this guy, we'll get something looking like that, right? You can go in and make it a bit thicker if you like. We'll hit one to go back, uh, maybe a little bit, or you can go in and tweak it. Uh, I would say this would work quite nicely. And you can even go in here if you want and just, uh, you know, for example, select this and then uh, hit B for soft select again and kind of bring it together and so forth and so on, right? So kind of bring that in, make that impacted area a bit less and just tweak it until you're happy with it, right? Okay, anyway, so I, I promised you guys two methods to do this. So let's go on with the second one, which is, uh, in my opinion, a bit cooler. Uh, kind of neat because you get to do all sorts of cool stuff. So we're going to go to create, we're going to go polygon primitives, we're going to go and find a helix right there. And there you go. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to right click and go into that outer edge right there. So right click at uh, edge, turn B off for soft select. We'll click once there and we'll go all the way up here and shift double click on that one. So now we selected that outer edge. And if I hit four, you can see what I mean, right? Or hopefully you can see that. Hit five to go back, there we go. And I want to kind of only use that. So what I'm gonna do is go to modify and I'm gonna to go to convert again. Uh, where do you go, where do you go, right here. And I'm gonna convert and I don't use this all the time. So let me take a sec to look for it. Um, polygon edge to curve, right? Option box, let's have a look. And uh, let's see, I think this looks all okay. So I'm just gonna hit convert, right? which means that I can now open this up 
and I can get rid of this. And there you go. So let's just delete it. And this is what we have right now. We're going to go and set that to our center. So we're just going to go to the top, hit W. We're going to hold on X and boom, there you go. And we're going to turn that into our uh, uh, Twinkie swirl, right? How do we do that? Well, we're going to take this guy and we're going to go up to deform. We're going to go to nonlinear and we're going to go to, uh, where is it? To, 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 to flare. All right. Now, as we do that, if we now hit control A to open up the attribute editor and we go in, you see that we have values that we can play with. Now, I'm going to set my start uh, flare X to uh, 2 and start flare Z to 2. All right. And now I get this guy, which is promising because now I can go in here to edit, delete by type and history, get rid of that. And then I can take this guy and I can basically squish it. So I'll just hit uh, R to pull it down. And there you go. And when I make this guy perfectly flat, and let's just uh, check that from this view. And it doesn't have to be even perfectly flat, but you can go for that if you want. That'd be good enough, I would say. And basically, we have our starting point from before, but just a little bit cleaner, right? So I can hit E to rotate, hold on J, flip it up like so, Control D to duplicate, W to pull that over, shifts like both of them, go this. Okay, now I know from the previous one that um, when I lofted that with the uh, sections in the middle, that gave us trouble, right? So I'm going to select this guy, shift like this guy. We're going to go to surfaces. We're going to go to loft option box, and I'm going to set this to zero, right? And let's hit loft straight on. There you go. Okay. Now that I have this, I can go in here and in object mode, and I can go in, first of all, to edit the leap by type history. So I will be able to get rid of these two curves. Then I'll select this guy. I'll go to modify and convert. Nerves to polygons, option box, right? Uh, all straight up and hit apply. And now I can go and uh, delete this guy. And I have my nerves to polygons object left. Double click on that. Let's call it a uh, poly blanket, something like that. There you go. And I actually do have sections here, but this should work better. I'm going to right click, go to vertex, take a selection in the middle. It doesn't have to be exact because we're going to hit B for soft select, right? Hold down B, left click and drag. R to scale that in a little bit, just to make it something like this. I guess I should have done that in the middle. Hang on. Let me do it properly. Turn B off. Let's go to modify and center pivot. It's just in the middle. Hit W and then move it with X to snap it to the middle. And now it's easier to go in here. Vertex. Let's take a selection like this. A bit better. B for soft select. Pull that out a little bit. And then we'll hit R to scale it. And there you go. That looks better. All right. Okay. And we got this guy and now we can go in if we like and extrude it. Now we won't be able to do 2.5. So let's hit control E. Let's try 0 0.2 to start with. And that's actually a pretty good guess. 0 0.2. There you go. And then we're going to go in and you can hit three to smooth it out if you like. And we'll get a roll looking something like that. Right. So these are the two methods that I could think of. If you know any more methods, let me know. Uh, hopefully it's helpful for you guys. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell thingy so you don't miss uh, future videos. And that said, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.